Welcome to our second Cyan Orange duel. The most epic and important art battle is about to begin, as in this episode we have two titans of digital art, Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. Adobe has been the top company in the art software market for years, and on the other side of the ring we have the powerful Japanese competition, Clip Studio Paint, or previously known as Manga Studio. Now let's begin! Which software is the best for PC or Mac? Let's start by introducing each opponent. On one side of the ring, we have Adobe Photoshop, possibly the most popular software for professional artists and photographers. It was originally launched in February 19, 1988, and as its name implies, it was mostly designed as a software for photo editing. But in a couple of years, it became the number one software in the entertainment industry in fields like concept art and visual development. And in the other corner, we have the art samurai Clip Studio Paint previously known as Manga Studio. Clip Studio was launched in 2001, meaning 13 years after the release of Photoshop, and it was developed by Celsus, a Japanese software company. This software was mostly developed for the creation of digital comics, and it's actually the fusion of three programs from the same company. Now let the fight begin! Which software will win this epic art battle? Let's start this design duel by taking a close look at the interface of each software. When we open Photoshop, the software shows us this nice elegant black interface where we can visualize our recent documents. In Clip Studio Paint, the software jumps straight to the painting mode. Now let's take a look at how things work when we want to create a new file. In Clip Studio, we can see the window that initially asks us what we want to create. An illustration, a comic, or an animation. In each option, we can select the size of our canvas from a great list of presets. We can create our own custom size with the resolution of our image and the background color. In Photoshop, we have other options when creating a new file. To begin, we won't see a specialized section in the creation of comics or animation, but in contrast to Clip Studio, Photoshop has a larger selection of presets for creations of print documents, illustrations, video, and web files. Photoshop in general has a better presentation of its main menu and the presets it offers to its users. Additionally in Photoshop, we can select the color mode and advanced options such as color profile. Now let's move on to general interface when we are drawing. Both software have a very similar upper bar with windows such as edit, layers, and filters. However, Clip Studio Paint has an exclusive section in this bar dedicated to animation. On the other hand, Photoshop has an exclusive section dedicated to 3D. Following our tour across the general interface, let's take a look at the toolbars. In Photoshop, we have a very complete tools bar that has additionally the Shape tool and the Sponge tool. Clip Studio instead has two exclusive tools in this section, the Balloon tool and the Frame Border tool, ideal for creation of comics. In conclusion, both tools are very similar in each software. They are just arranged differently. The Canvas Zone in each software is very similar. The location of the color wheel and windows vary slightly, but it can always be adjusted to the user's content. In both softwares, we find the Brushes window, the Layers window, and when you're working on animations, we also have the Timeline window in the zone. The big difference when it comes to animation and clip is the animation upper bar we already mentioned. We can find many additional options when we are animating here, something Photoshop lacks. Clip also has an additional window called Materials, a very useful window to quickly create shapes of people, buildings, and the like, sometimes quite useful when we are drawing comics. Both softwares are backed up by the cloud, where you can share and upload your files between devices. Clip also has a version on the iPad Pro, so it is easy to work between devices using the software. On the other hand, Adobe only connects currently with the app Adobe Sketch. However, possibly it will also connect with its two future apps for mobile devices, Adobe Fresco and Adobe Photoshop for iPad. Both apps will launch later on this year. Following next, let's see how appealing the visual design of each software is. Photoshop uses a nice dark gray interface that is very pleasant for the eyes. The icons are modern looking and clear, giving a nice visual message. When we first opened Clip Studio, we were met with this horrible pure white interface, giving our eyes a bad sensation. It is well known that white is a bad color coming from screens, as it exhausts the eyes rapidly. However, both softwares have the option to change the color of the general interface. We recommend staying with a dark gray like in Photoshop. Photoshop recently, in its new version, added the color wheel. Previously, we used the plugin Coloris that gave us the desired color wheel in this section. 
On the other hand, Clip Studio has always been equipped with this color wheel since the beginning. Additionally, Clip has another useful tool in the color section. It is called Approximate Color. This window allows you to control your color better when you're still struggling when selecting colors for your illustrations. There are many shared tools between each software. However, finding some tools might be hard due to the location and appearance of the icon if you're already used to a specific software. For example, finding out how to make clipping masks or the smudge tool might be hard at first. However, in general, we think the presentation of the icons is better in Photoshop. To conclude, the visual design of Photoshop is more developed. You can clearly see the effort and time they have invested in this section. For instance, if we compared the appearance of Photoshop CS5 and Clip Studio Paint, we can see they are quite similar, showing the improvements Adobe has made in terms of design in its software. The time has come for the most important battle of all, the art battle. Having good design and software is good, but for us artists, we need more functionality and juicy tools than just a beautiful presentation. Let's take a look. The brush tool is the most important tool of any art software. Let's get a better idea of how this works in both of our competitors. Clip Studio has its own system of brushes with extension .sut. Not a very common brush extension that has no compatibility with the brushes that, for example, the users of Photoshop have. Photoshop, on the other hand, uses common brush extension .abr. You can find tons of brushes online with this extension. Moving on to the location of the brushes in each software, Photoshop displays all its brushes in the same window, which you can organize into folders if you are using the latest versions. Clip, on the other hand, separates its brushes into six categories. One, ink brushes, such as pens and markers. Two, dry brushes like pencil or pastels. Three, painting brushes like watercolors and oils. Four, air brushes. Five, effects. And lastly, six, blenders. You can always add brushes to each category. Having these categories in Clip splits the shortcuts for brush in three. Dry brushes with P, wet brushes with B, and blender with J. The brush properties in Clip and Photoshop are also different. In Photoshop, all the brushes share the same qualities. However, in Clip, the properties vary depending on the category they are located in. Something to highlight on Clip's brushes in contrast with the ones in Photoshop is that the ones located in the category watercolor can actually blend and mix while you paint, something any brush in Photoshop can't do. Following our tour around the painting tools in both softwares, let's take a look at the shape tool. In Clip, the Shape tool is called Material, and it has its own window located on the right side of the program. In this window, you will find countless materials that you can use as many times as you like, and it's very useful for drawing comics. Photoshop has the same option, but its initial shape library is very poor compared to that of Clip. Let's move on to filters. Photoshop has an incredible amount of filters that Clip Studio Paint lacks. You can find some of the most important filters in Clip. However, Photoshop has very useful filters like High Pass. We discovered these very useful filters thanks to artist Ross Tran, a very nice effect to highlight the details of the illustration. There is one tool that makes Clip Studio really cool. That is the Blend tool. With this tool, we can mix colors in a very natural and pleasant way, just like in traditional painting. In Photoshop, the closest tool that has a similar effect is the Mixer Brush tool, added recently with Adobe's Creative Cloud. Both softwares have a clear window where we can see all the layers and blending modes such as multiply, color, and the like. The blending modes in both softwares behave very similar, however, we notice some differences. Let's take a look. There are three blending modes that they don't share. Photoshop has the exclusive blending mode Dissolve, and Clip Studio has Add Glow and Glow Dodge. Not a real big difference, so we believe there is no real winner here. One thing we do feel Photoshop wins is in how we can merge all the visible layers with the commands Control alt shift e or merging all selected layers with Control e something we have to do with the mouse and clip. Let's first state that we are not animators. However, both softwares offer the option to animate, so we are going to briefly talk about this option. The animation possibilities in each software are quite similar, animating everything frame by frame, similar to how we used to animate in Flash. Clip Studio Paint has, for example, useful presets for animations and an exclusive upper bar dedicated to this tool. On the other hand, Photoshop has the same abilities as Clip Studio Paint in terms of animation, but it has the advantage of compatibility with top-notch animation software such as After Effects. 
In conclusion, we didn't see many differences in the animation field in both art softwares. Clip had the additional option of adding cameras, while Photoshop has a list of video transitions. Liquify! There is one tool that makes Photoshop so desirable and powerful. The people say that mesh transformation of Clip Studio Paint does the same, deserves a... <laughs> mesh transformation is so limited, and doesn't have one third of the options Liquify has. Line Stabilization The stabilization of the stroke in Clip Studio Paint is beautiful. For those who struggle with their lines in digital art, this useful tool will be just the thing you need. Many of us have experienced the excessive use of Control z thanks to floppy lines, while getting used to drawing in the digital medium. In Photoshop you can get a similar effect, but you have to buy an additional plugin called Lazy Nizumi Pro. Vector Layers Clip has a very nice superpower in the Layers section. You can create amazing vector layers that feel just as if you were painting with pixels. Pretty neat, huh? Even though these look like pixel strokes, you can actually modify them just as if you were vector. Make them bigger or whatever you want without losing precious pixel information. However, we have to keep in mind here, there will be certain tools we cannot use while in a vector layer. The gradient tool, the bucket tool, and the blend tool. Advanced 3D tool. Even though we are no 3D experts, we do recognize Photoshop has advanced options for 3D objects like creating meshes, adding textures, and generating its UVs. The software also has the option of importing 3D information from other files. Having amazing art tools on our display is important. However, it is also important that each of these tools behaves nicely when we have many layers on one file, or bigger resolutions. How does each software behave in terms of performance? Let's begin. First, let's give you the specs for the computer we use for these performance tests. We used each software in the same computer using files with a high number of layers. What did we notice? In Photoshop, we created an illustration with more than 150 layers and the program performed nicely. We only noticed lag when flipping the canvas or adding a very specific effect or filter. In Clip Studio Paint, the program runs smoothly too, but when we reached approximately layer 60, the software started to show us this small window indicating it was saving the changes. It is a bit weird to draw when you see this bar very often. In both programs, we also used the brushes in a big size, and sometimes it lagged a lot while others it performed smoothly. We believe this is related to the amount of detail the brush has and your processor. To conclude, both programs performed well. However, keep in mind that we used Photoshop more in our art careers than Clip Studio Paint. Now let's check out the price of both programs. Photoshop has a subscription method. That means you will have to pay for each month or year to be able to use it. Also, if you just select Photoshop as your only monthly program from Creative Cloud, it's more expensive than the photography combo. And if you pay the yearly subscription, it will be cheaper than paying monthly. However, we still consider Photoshop to be a very expensive software for individuals such as freelance artists or students. Students do have special discounts, and the first year, students will have a discount of 60%, but after the first year, they will only receive a discount of 40%. Now let's look at the price of Clip Studio Paint. Unlike Photoshop, Clip has a permanent licensed business plan. Yes, you can get this software permanently on your computer. And usually Clip Studio has big discounts of 50%, so you can even get it at a cheaper price. When you visit their website, you will notice Clip Studio Paint has two versions, Pro and X. We are using the Pro version, since the X version is more dedicated to professional comic artists that want useful tools to publish their comics online and sell them in Kindle formats. Now let's move on to the updates section. Since Photoshop has a subscription business plan, you will only get their updates as long as your subscription is active. Clip Studio, however, always has its updates available to the customer. Since a license is permanent, you will always be able to update the program, but you will have to do this manually. You will need to go to the website and find the update and install it. We do not understand why they haven't integrated an auto-update system into their software. We are in 2019. Really? After a long and arduous battle, it is time to find our winner. Let us first determine the winner in each battle to choose our ultimate champion. Even though both programs have an efficient interface, Photoshop has a better presentation than Clip Studio. That makes it the winner of this battle. We consider there was a draw on this battle, as both programs offer useful tools depending on your art field. If you like drawing comics, then Clip Studio is for you. But if you're more interested in concept art, Photoshop will be your best ally.
Both programs perform smoothly under the conditions we tested them in. They have minimum requirements, and performance in general depends a lot on the computer you are using. A monthly fee makes Photoshop super expensive, even more if you take into account that paying a year subscription is more expensive than the permanent license of Clip Studio Paint. And our winner is... Wait, a draw? Let us explain before you dislike the video. First, we decided to make it a draw as the decision rests on you. What kind of artist are you? What is your budget? Do you want to draw comics or work in the concept art industry? All of these questions can help you make the decision of which program best suits your needs. Both programs are powerful and have their pros and cons. Photoshop, for example, is the number one software that companies request when asking for specific skills for their employees. But it is an expensive program. If you are just learning digital art or prefer drawing comics, then Clip Studio Paint is for you. Did you like this video and want to help us create more content? Support us on Patreon to help us grow and receive exclusive content, tutorials, PSDs, and the process of our illustrations and more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. See you later.